Welcome, welcome. Today in the hot seat, brand new, and I mean brand spanking new from Anning, the Anning M119, a little pocket rocket. Big keep on testing shout out to Banggood. Thanks so much for sending the Anning in for this review. You are oh, yeah. so awesome. While we're getting closer to Christmas, as Santa goes, ho, 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 or as I like to say, cheap, 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 and cheap is what we have today. The little M119 from Anning, this sucker rings in at around 10 bucks, $10 US, and I even saw it go cheaper uh, not long ago. So this is definitely on the low end of the price spectrum. What do you get? Well, not too much. You get this paper instruction manual as well as the meter itself that's it generic little box and of course the test leads but the test leads take note are captive they're permanently attached to the meter and as well you get this nice little peel off sticker here which we'll remove in just a second for a little bit of added protection overall small complete compact package smart little meter that's a little bit different than some of them let's take a look now, something that still drives me crazy is the fact that you don't get a tilt stand, a magnetic uh, backing, nothing, nothing. So it's always got to remain flat on your bench or wherever the heck you are doing your testing. So that's such a downer. Why can't they give us a tilt stand or at least a little magnet on the back? Ugh. When I first saw the meter, I thought, oh, yeah, another little tiny smart meter that won't do current. Wrong! It actually does milliamps. Low current, at least, but it's better than nothing. Milliamps up to 600, 60 to 600 milliamps current. Hey, not bad. All right, let's take that off right now, shall we? Oh, come on, come on. Oh, yes. I know some people find this very therapeutic. Oh, look at that. So, a little bit of glare coming on that... Uh, screen but you know it's not bad looking I, I i gotta say seen worse it does have a backlight like that and you know a little bit of bleeding over there but nonetheless pretty pretty decent looking backlight unfortunately it doesn't stay on it'll go off after about 30 seconds or so so yeah but uh yeah, not bad looking display all around speaking of display 6,000 count or 5,999 count so uh good that's good now, we do have English mostly. There's a little bit of Chinese going on here as well, or Mandarin, whatever that is. But, uh, uh, yeah, I'm assuming it says the same thing, auto power off. If it says something different, let me know. Same thing for the auto and milliamp. Once again, it's also in uh, Chinese or Cantonese, Mandarin. Um, but, yeah, there you go. 6,000 counts, true RMS. That true RMS, definitely nice to see on such a low and cheapy. Hey, December's coming up. Oh, and it is one of my favorite times of the year. Yes, it's Christmas. It's the time of all things green and sparkly and red, too. Uh, hey, guess what? Keepontesting.com. Visit the website. It is awesome. We have all sorts of cool stuff here. Into meters, electronics. Definitely put it on your short list. We have some great bloggers, including Paul Taylor, who does some amazing stuff on Keepontesting.com. Check it out. Some great articles, stuff you won't see anywhere else. Join the membership yes it's completely free it doesn't cost you a thing it takes like two seconds sign up at keepontesting.com and you can win a multimeter two possibly three giveaways in december for all members of keepontesting.com stay tuned now winners will be announced december 24th christmas eve i love it and by the way, I got another cheapy Anning that came in as well. Now, this one is uh, the SZ308. I was going to do a head-to-head, -head, a tete-a-tete, -tete, but, you know, they're pretty different of uh, the manual ranging, what have you. So I didn't think it would be, you know, that fair, that interesting. What, did I make a good, a good decision or should I have done them both at the same time? I don't know. Let me know. Let me know. I will say, though, the SZ308 here, this is the cheapest multimeter right now on Amazon. Whoa, 10 bucks delivered Canadian. That's around six, seven US. Crazy, man, crazy. Something worth mentioning as well is the case here, the enclosure, completely hard plastic. We have no rubberized casing. I mean, I guess what do you want for such a low end cheapy? But uh, yeah, it, 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 it's got that groove. So at least you give a little more traction with your fingers, but um, it's definitely cheap. Back of the unit, we have four of these plastic buttons. They're not soft touch either. They're pretty hard, plasticky, aka cheap. Uh, NCV, flashlight, 
a hold backlight as well as the power on and off now the only problem with this is because of where they're located it's easy to sort of hit them when you're touching the meter so yeah looking for 10.00 volts coming at 10.10 Now, according to the specs, this is plus or minus five digits and 0.3%. Uh, so we're a tad off, Anning. Yeah, tad off. Okay, we're going to explore the world of low current with the Anning. Remember, this goes up to 600 milliamps. 60 to 600 milliamps. Flip the switcheroo, brings us into current mode, and are we going to hit 100? Not quite. 100 is what we want to see with that precision reference coming in at 98.6 milliamps. All right, next up is diode. Now remember, uh, being the smart meter it is, we have to actually put it into uh, diode mode. So let's do that now. We have to range it manually. And resistance, continuity, diode. There we go. Alrighty. Diode mode it is. Start off with that red LED. Lit with a forward voltage drop over the green. Yes, two for two. Yellow, oh, looking good. White, oh yeah. Finally the blue. I love you. Yes, five for five in terms of illumination as well as that forward voltage drop. And of course it does regular diodes. Not a problemo. Now we don't get that nice audible beep, but hey, five out of five, I'm not complaining. And wow, check that out, 3.3 volts Output voltage in diode mode. Nice. Green is it scratches really easy. So not only do you get that glare, but boy, you get those scratches. That it's it's been babied. Haven't done much with it, but already I've got a couple of uh, scratches there and there. I can kind of see it, but yeah, that's not going to bode well in the long term. So you might want to leave the plastic on. By the way, you know, quick little easy mod. Uh, there is the other anning, the SZ308. And uh, like I said, look at that. No tilt stand, no nothing. Easy breezy. Let's give it something. Hey, I got these cool little magnets from Amazon. I use these a lot in uh, 3D prints, what have you. Super handy, cheap as borscht. Uh, and look what we're going to do. I'm going to drill a hole there and there, just big enough to squeeze that magnet in. Let's see what happens. Simple little magnet for your little simple cheapo. There's one thing adding definitely got right with this little meter, and that is that easy breezy fuse access. Check it out underneath that battery well, two AAA batteries, and there is our low current 600 milliamp glass fuse. So in a pinch, easy to replace, nice. Here we are taking a quick peek at the inside. Once again, there's that battery well with our glass fuse. Here is our Panasonic Relay um, six pin semiconductor and of course our speaker. And look at that, we have one tiny little PTC as well on the voltage side. Pretty good strain relief for those test leads, as you can see. Now in terms of the actual soldering to the main board, I don't know, it's not bad, but for me, that's a little, you know, a little too much leeway going on. Now, yes, chances are it's not going to be moving much, but still, eh, I think they could have done better. 
think they could have done better. At the top of the unit, we have our cobbed CPU and, of course, some uh, factory uh, testing headers over here. Diode clamps going on. And in terms of a fab date, looks like we have uh, 22, December 22. So that PCB um, has been around oh, for a couple of years. Flashlight, buzzer, the whole nine yards up there. Not too much going on. And those buttons, once again, over here. Not a great location. Uh, Plasticky. Eh, you know. Beside the CPU over here is our EEP ROM, the T24C02A. Commonly used in the cheap realm. See it everywhere. Everywhere. So that might be a DreamTech uh, IC. Um, it may not be, but uh, anyway, there you go. All right, let's put it back together. Come back with my closing thoughts. Closing thoughts on the little Anning M119 Cheapo. Ah, uh, you know, ah, pass this one by. Yeah, it's definitely cheap. I'll give it that. But it's not that great in terms of overall dynamics. I get so wonky with those side buttons. It's just a pain. So often, I'm always, almost every time I take a measurement, my hands are getting in the way, changing things. So bad placement for buttons. Now, it is definitely nice that this little guy does current, low current, but current nonetheless. That, my friends, is a good thing. Still, other than that Al Cheapo price, I don't see the allure for this tiny little Cheapo. Uh, take a look at what's on top. Another ending I recently reviewed that is out of this world. If you just need a Cheapo meter to throw in that glove compartment, okay, this might be for you. Chances are, though, it's going to scratch easy, scratch like crazy, and hopefully you can still read that screen after a year. Uh -huh. Capacitance was rather on the slow side. Nothing too exciting going on there. And overall, it even wasn't that accurate. I mean, uh, it was out of spec just a tiny bit, but still out of spec nonetheless. Now, in terms of the cheapo cheapos, uh, this one just didn't get that motor going. The Anning M119 cheapo gets a solid 2.5 out of 5 stars. Hey, thanks for watching this review, everybody. Till the next one, keep on testing.